Alright, no more echo this time. <laughs> Sorry about that last stream with this. I, what happened was that I still had the, um... I was recording for my capture card and for my Windows audio. And due to Streamlabs OBS, I couldn't tell. I couldn't see that the capture card was recording, but I got that all fixed now. We're also streaming at 60 FPS this time, instead of last time. Which was still 30, for some reason. I must have been three streaming a 30 FPS game and not realized to change it back. But oh well. Perhaps not the traditional way to play the game, but I thought I would take a peek. Oh wait, not here. Take a peek at the other characters. Um, how do I hide notifications for messages? I tried to just mute a group, but they, we don't seem to have mute group options. I got added to a group, and I'm not 100% sure if I approve of group add at the moment, but... Uh, I can just disable that. That'll work. Alright. So we're gonna take a look at uh, Hishibo. It's also the Yumi thingy, but I don't, I don't care as much about that. I only got that because it was a stupid bug. You bring fruit in and you get bugs, free bugs with every fruit purchased. Pain in the butt. So this I think was originally in Japanese released as like a second game. It's the Hejibo side of things and there was a compilation game that we got the first, we got the compilation game first in English. The one with both sides of things. Don't remember how much spoilerinos there is. But yeah, bad things happen. Really bad things happen. Snake tits are still here. I'd forgotten about that. Hi, bro. So we don't really learn too much about the Yoma in the, um... Hanzo side of things, but... It turns out there's bad things in this world. Bad clockwork dragon duders. It looks less stupid in this than it did in the 2DS or in the second game. But why did they give the snake tits, honestly? <laughs> it makes it really hard to take seriously. Why not? No, on 2D. That's kind of a holdover from the original game, huh? If you actually really want to fight the Yoma, um, the second game, the one cool thing the second game does is there's a lot more Yoma fight stuff. Oop. I'm not sure if I died or pausing the game skipped the thing. I think you're supposed to lose there. I love my favorite mechanic, Force Losses. いいと呼ばれる者たちがいる。要影から支える忍びの中でも影に属する者たちのことだ。悪人と呼ばれる者たちがいる。要影から支える忍びの中でも影に属する者たちのことだ。悪人は大企業や政治家などから仕事を受け
Yeah. It made a lot more sense in this first game, because there is a pretty big twist on all of that stuff. <laughs> Which, unfortunately, if you don't play this game first, the big twist is spoiled in the first, like, five minutes of every other game. <laughs> it's kind of... It's kind of unfortunate. But they kind of had to resolve the good and evil shinobis thing in order to have you kind of be together. Much more dramatic in the beginning. I'd forgotten, there's some actually pretty good emotional moments in the, um, the Hanzo side of things. We might go back to that, because I can replay it any time, but... We saw, we saw the intro and I already got content ID'd for it, so we don't need to see that again. <laughs> I should just skip openings in Japanese games, but they're always content ID'd. But I want people to see them, and whatever. There's that good old Hikage, good old snack. Let me find something for you here. Find a red sweater here. Here we go. Corporate needs you to find the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture! Same picture. Weird. Streamlabs OBS is neat, but it does some weird stuff. If you have an image that's like name is too big, like you can't, like the buttons disappear. It's a pain in the butt. I <laughs> This music is so incredibly fitting to the uh, the atmosphere here. They must have made this new lighting thing with the red. I don't remember seeing that in Estival. And when Hejibo bad stuff is going on, they usually use it. It really matches with this music, though. Cute snack, indeed. I see this Pokemon discourse in the Discord. I don't really buy Game Freak's excuses on things, honestly. <laughs> They're talking about how, oh, we, we would need a really unique mechanic to make a Pokemon Snap 2 happen. I, I kind of think they just don't want to do it. They're like, hey, we put a mini game in Sun and Moon, that's, that's all you're getting. Stop asking. <laughs> Never ask for me anything. Never ask anything for me ever again. Hikage is a snake Vulcan, basically. Haruka's gonna say something creepy. Probably. She's really creepy in the um in the DS games. I don't know why. She's not nearly as bad. She's still one of my least favorite characters. But she she gets really creepy in. The first half of this game, and the first couple battles in um, Serigura 2. Which is like the fourth or fifth game in the series, by the way, but... <laughs> Maybe it's like third or fourth, but... I don't even remember. I wonder what all they're changing in Serigura 7. I hope they at least, like... Do some kind of breakdown. Those, as a as a dev, I can I can fully understand not telling people what they missed out on because like then no matter what it was, no matter how bad it would have been, honestly, people would just want that, and I, I can see why. Like I love hearing about all the stuff in games we never got to experience and stuff. 
I'm just gonna level everyone up a little bit here. I figured if other games had this, the level up items that you can have. Yeah, I've got enough of these. I can put everyone up to like level 3 or so. <laughs> Mariah is pretty blatant, but they're usually not quite that blatant. You gotta respect that. I like how Mariah is just literally, she's just literally the penguin. That's... Oh, not you. You're not part of this school. Not you. Oh yeah, it's something I really liked, um, when you, um, when you look through the different menus, you get a little peek at all the characters, um, everyone's, um, stuff kind of changes, like, depending on the mood of the <laughs> There's their bean sprouts. Um, depending on the mood of the, uh, situation and stuff, everyone's, um, expressions and stuff changes, or... You know, if somebody is away in the story, they'll be away in the thing. It's actually really neat. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Mariah is a total nerd. That better be a that better be a mechanical keyboard, young lady. Posting on them blogs. <laughs> I don't think tongue graphic. I don't think the tongue. The, the, as you can see, they make good use of the tongue graphic in this one. I think that's new for this game too. They all have fun little idle animations. <laughs> you can see her eye! No one, no anime character with an eye patch is actually missing an eye. It's always fake. They have reasons for it though. I don't know if it's ever, it's gone into in this game or not yet, but... Both Mirai and uh, Yagyu have reasons for being pretend cyclopses. <laughs> What do y'all think of that thing where games will, like, more or less spoil the final fight in, like, the first three seconds? I don't entirely dislike it, because, like, especially with that Luffy 2 thing, it kind of gives you... It gives you a look at what the advanced, like, gameplay and, like, the intensity and stuff is going to be like. And especially in RPGs, it lets you, like, actually do things, <laughs> when RPGs usually don't let you do things at the beginning. That's a very RPG problem. The grim crimson skies plus this music is just incredible. I love it. Suzuna is our teacher here on this side of things. Much. Much easier to look at than Kiryu. Poor Kiryu. I do like him better in, after playing most of this. I'm like half... No, I'm a little bit more than halfway through the uh, Hanzo story. I do like him more after that. He gets his backstory and stuff. He's kind of relegated to weird side character after this, though. I just want to know, does she cut up her own shirts just for, like, fashion reasons, or is that supposed to be battle damage? Because I can see it either way. She's weird. She doesn't lick her, her knife in this one. It's usually pretty... yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, it gives me tutorials again! Oh well, that's fine. You can skip all of the tutorials except for... Your... Well, you can skip the visual thingies. Oh. Hardly the worst tutorial, <clears throat> Mokami, that I've played. What's your least favorite tutorial? I would, I would say mine probably is in fact Okami. I, I never, 
I never actually played Okami. I I didn't really fully get through the tutorial. Or the intro, at least. I'm not sure if it was still considered tutorial, but... Yeah. It was kind of rough. I know it's a good game and everything, and I need to go back to it and such, but... The proud of their new tongue, the new tongue physics. Every game needs tongue physics. Yes, yes. Eh, come on. You'd think it would know that I started the other side, so I don't need the tutorials, but whatever. Can't I throw stuff? Yeah. Cunning's comments crack me up. You crack me up, little buddy. Stabby, stabby. Literally Bart Simpson. I already did that, but It's stonking great tits, indeed. I figured this way we get to see the other characters we didn't see. Well, we fought against some of them. I unfortunately stopped at a pretty bad point, because we just started to see the the other Hejibo people that we hadn't seen yet. Just after I saw the last stream, but whatever. If people enjoyed enough, I might go back and replay those. I'm definitely enjoying this a lot better than I did uh, the original 3DS. Through. <laughs> I think she's kind of grunts. Huh. Through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just kind of removed that zipper or something. No longer exists. Oh wait, I think I'm on easy mode or something. Yeah, yeah. Ah, let's speak in the ninja room. It's still my favorite name for any kind of room. I need a ninja room. We don't really get a good wide-angle shot of this ninja room, though. Just kind of, kind of poke around. Haruka over here being a tease. <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> um... Katsu is currently doing an amazing animation, so let's go peek at that. I don't know why they're not just called like Hanzo and Hejibo. It took me a second to recognize the thing. <laughs> Katsu's being creepy. Oh, yeah, you can change. Um, you can change skin tone on this one too. I didn't even notice that until after the last stream. I think she's stealing underwear or something. I don't know. Or planning wardrobe malfunctions or something. Yeah, there's a skin tone option now. <laughs> I don't... Normal is not the word I would use, but everyone in the game is Japanese, so normal, quote-unquote, is just a standard, you know, Japanese skin tone. You can be pale, you can be tan. Tan is <laughs> quite dark, in fact. Um, Surprisingly, Tan is a different skin color from uh, Homura, the usual only character with the tan. 
And there's no option to have her tan, it's kind of weird. Also, Hromora with no tan is like a cursed image, look at this. Cursed. Very cursed image, do not- <laughs> do not approve. Don't call make her- Her regular like. That's- that's still a little cursed, but we'll just leave her default. It's kind of- they made- I guess maybe that's the skin tone of that one darker skinned girl from the card game that I can never remember the name of. I don't know why Hamora is, isn't an option, but whatevs. It's cool that I have it. Uh... A lot of talk in the Discord about buying new CPUs and stuff, I'm really... <laughs> I need to get one probably this year. Borker, what are you doing? I hear him breaking stuff. Distant breaking things noises. <laughs> She's got her little bean sprouts terrariums. She really likes bean sprouts. Look at <laughs> Look at the pure love for the beans. She's thinking about those beans sprouts. You can't get freaking bean sprouts anywhere anymore, by the way. Pita Pit doesn't even have them anymore. I used to always get uh, extra bean sprouts and shit. Um, I look through their menu and stuff, unless you have to like specifically ask for them somewhere weird. It's just not an option. What are you doing? What are you doing? I left a drawer open in the kitchen, so there was Parker crimes. I like that the shopkeeper is the quote-unquote pet of the thing. What's she doing with that plant? Oh, we're the plant. Are we we are the plant, I guess. Why? Why is? Why are we the plant? I think she's got the creepy a creeper camera in there to creep on herself, which wouldn't be entirely out of character, I guess. And <laughs> Hamura's just here scowling, very in character, yes. That's just kind of what she does. She just sits there and glares and talks about fighting things. Sleep with one eye open and knives in your hand. That's pretty much what you got to do to be a shinobi. Oh, now I'm on medium difficulty. That's fine. <laughs> Could they find music that was a bit more fitting? Or at least remove the spook filter while these, like, happy-go-lucky scenes are going on? You're not gonna eat those flowers, are you, Yomi? <laughs> Stop with this. She freaking loves vegetables. <laughs> She's very frugal. If you've ever been to the Frugal Jerk subreddit, that's basically Yomi. She just likes bean sprouts instead of lentils. A woman has needs. Stomach needs. Beans. Uh-oh, we're gonna get in a fight because she didn't like bean sprouts. She's very serious about beans. <laughs> she's she's fine. 
私選抜クラス1年のヨミと申します2年の日陰やよろしくお願いしますそう、there's lesser shinobi and there's elite shinobi and lesser lesser ones are just like the trash mobs you fight they... They never really explain what makes necessarily somebody an elite because, like, they're first year but they're elite and, like, like, there's entrance exams and crap, but it seems early to be calling them elites already. I kind of overuse the blur effect. It feels like my glasses are, like, slipping off, but no. I think that's true of most anything, Yomi. <clears throat> they pretty much only have weirdos in class. I guess that's the case with all of the, the groups, though. Asuka is probably the no most normal person just by, you know. <laughs> Virtue of being the sort of standard, well, bubbly protagonist, mm? young and impressionable, and all of that crap. She's still kind of a dumbass, though. <laughs> Sunbathing with your clothes on in the shade. <laughs> She's so edgy, she sunbathes in the darkness. School animal is the snake. I suppose you may as well act like one. Again. Literally, Hikage IRL. Why does that... Oh, whatever. <laughs> if, the, if the file name is too long in Streamlabs OBS, I have to delete it. I can't, like, hide it and move it and stuff. Well, I can move it, but... She's freaking hungry. I guess they don't have school lunch programs in like Shinobi, evil Shinobi land. Part of Japan. Whichever prefecture. <laughs> She's gonna cry. Do, do it, Hikage. そんなに。何でよ。ゆみさん、何 you think Shinobis would be like, hey, maybe we should like feed you so you like don't die. Great. Wouldn't this just increase my problems if I lose? Yes, Yomi is poor and doesn't manage things well. Oh, I'm Takage. Oh, I'll feel bad for winning then. I still don't get <laughs> They use such oddly low res textures for the tattoos on her. It looks weird. The underwear used to be super low res too, but they, they fixed that at least. Shinobi versus kind of a awkward in between. It was starting to get really good, but there was a lot of cheapness to things. Oh, dang, I'm doing good damage though. Yeah, Frantic is really... Risky, as is the point. It's like a chain knife. It's like a only slightly less stupid version of um, Ivy's thing from Soul Calibur. Oh, frick. You kind of need to be a little bit higher level to do the frantic thing. I thought I could get by, but no. Let's try that again. <laughs> It's kind of a shame. Frantic, uh, Frantic actually changes your combat style and stuff, so it's not just high-risk reward mode. Um, for example, with uh, 
With Yagyu, like, she shoots a tentacle out of her umbrella thing, so she gets a lot more range. I don't remember exactly what everyone's does, but... We'll save that for, like, level 10 to 20 plus. I really need to- let me- It's kind of a neat feature, this one um, added the like incoming attack warning. Which I guess with shinobi senses you should probably have- there we go. I really need to learn to parry. It seems to be a lot more emphasized in this one. Always transform once they get to about half health. You have to be really OP to short change one of them. Oh yeah, a lot of people have. Um, I think everyone has at least one element or um, status effect. The Kage has poison, as you might expect from Snack. There you go, she's got the little chain thinger. She keeps spare sets of ripped clothes on her just for the transformation. It's style. You don't understand. I mean, people wear like pre-treated acid washed and like washed in a washer with rocks jeans. Oh, and your little thing, I think it used to just be like a silver colored, you know, your boar's thing. You can actually see a snake on it now. Poor stack. Much like the Vulcans, Hikage's we don't I don't have emotions thing doesn't <clears throat> quite pan out. Though I think in that case she's just supposed to be like kind of a dumbass and misinterpreting things. But I kinda of think she just is trying to do the right thing. Tomura, of course, is your obligatory RR character. Tomura is so edgy. <laughs> <laughs> she's so edgy. She literally is just... Asuka is Sonic and she's Shadow. That's just all there is to it. She even wants to be the ultimate shinobi. She's so just gotta lie about it. I guess that's just evil shinobi things. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Haruka. 
面白い。The, the only rule of evil shinobi is that all, all rules are bullshit. Thanks. Like I said, she gets pretty creepy. Oh, hey, so the, she can say fuck now. <laughs> they don't. They don't usually let Hamura say fuck. I guess that hashtag let Hamura say fuck campaign finally worked. Look who's talking. <laughs> oh, yeah.、Um, I might be getting a review copy of、uh, Peach Ball pretty soon. I don't know if I can stream it before release date, which is just Tuesday, so it probably won't matter. I don't usually stream on Mondays anyway.、Um, but might be streaming that pretty soon. So, s e n r i could grow up pinball thing? I don't know exactly how it works, but it's supposed to be pretty good, so I'll try it. We didn't get the two for pack.、Um, in Japanese, there was a, you could get a set with Peach Ball and Shinobi Ruffle. Which Shinobi Ruffle is kind of like. It's like the one two switch of s e n r i could grow up, kind of. <laughs> it's just made to like show off the.、Um, Stupid controller rumble and stuff. It's kind of expensive for that. I don't even know if we have that yet. I don't know what the deal is with that. I somehow fell off the list for、uh, X Seed. I was like, huh, I haven't heard from the Sonic Gura stuff in a while. Wasn't Peach Ball coming out?、Uh, I, I got dropped off the list somehow, so I bumped them and I was like, hey. And so now I'm back on, and I、uh, should probably be getting a copy of Peach Ball soon. Oh, hey, this is what I was talking about. I guess, I guess they just pick people. Oh, so you gotta kill people to become. <laughs> That's, that seems like a safe and productive work environment. Nothing personnel, kid. Hold on. I have a relevant image. I should really have my relevant image folder open at all times. Here we go. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> It's time for you to taste my glorious Nipponese steel. Now everyone wants to kill me. Oh, so these chicks are like seven feet tall. I have no idea why. None of them are elite. But they have bad stats, so that's why. I guess when you're a ninja, you can be seven feet tall if you want to. Maybe I can frantic this one. I love that they can just rip off their own clothes just through sheer force of will. No, no touching the clothes is required. No sharp tool or anything, just. Just gone. I think her element is fire. There's only. There's, there's really just two cut types of element there's damage over time, and then there's paralysis. Ice and electricity paralyze you. Fire and poison just kind of do damage over time.、Oh, that was easy. 
easy. The best missions to grind actually are not boss fights, they're just missions with tons of trash mobs. <laughs> there's, there's no possible way that she could actually put all of those in there, but, you know, ninja things. It's actually, like, almost impossible to, like, draw, or especially put away a sword with, like, an on-back thingy. That's why with more, like, historically accurate games, you'll usually see, like, Samurai holding the uh, sheath in one hand. Um, that's because you can, like, actually take it out and sheath it that way. The back sheath thing, while it looks cool, is not very practical. Like, with really short ones, yes, but <laughs> that's even <laughs> more reason that you can just mount it on the hip instead. Some real hedgehog dilemma shit. Which isn't, like, <laughs> hedgehogs don't actually have trouble getting close, by the way. <laughs> I think hedgehogs don't even really hurt unless you, like, try to eat them. They're not like porcupines. Porcupines, those will fuck you up. But a hedgehog, like, it's kind of like shark scales. As long as you pet it the right way, it's just fine. Yeah, the whole bakshi thing. It's just because it like unclutters the character design and kind of looks cool. But yeah, they're not. <laughs> they don't really work. I think in vanillaware games you usually have like you hold your sheath. I remember that in um. Frick, what's the? Oh man, what's it called? Um. The one game where you can be that dude or that girl. Obviously, very specific. Yes. Uh, there was a really good version of it. Muramasa, I think I'm thinking of. There's a really good um, enhanced PS Vita port that I played. It was originally on like Wii and like no one played it, unfortunately, but it's really good. Which most of it where stuff is. What's Vanilla Wear making these days? I've heard much from them since um, the beat em up game. Which I never got super far in. You have to unlock multiplayer in that. And I beat em ups, I really prefer to play with multiplayer. Um, and I, um. Yeah, I just didn't get super far into it. It looks beautiful, um, but. It's a bit grindy, as you know, level up based <laughs> beat em ups tend to be. And I just wanted to be able to play multiplayer. Is it unlocked by default in the, uh, I think it's a PS4 enhanced version? Does that remove that stupidness? Yeah, everything by Vanillaware is super stylish. I couldn't... Oh, frick, what was the... There was that PS2 game they did that was remastered on PS4. I haven't got into that. <laughs> Again, this music. <laughs> It's, it's perfectly fitting for the Hanzo school, but here it's so weird. She looks like she has to pee. She doesn't look wounded. She just really needs to go. Shinobis must steal their bladders like they steal the rest of themselves. Stop saying words. <laughs> Haruka gets a little better, but then I say that, but then she's like responsible for the worst chapter in Estival Versus that I think a lot of people just stopped playing at. Because most of the reviews I saw for the game, it really sounds like they just played up to Haruka's chapter and like, oh, I quit. Because it was pretty stupid. <laughs> just immediate no clothes art. Are you sure that's a ninja art? 
さあそれじゃ始めるわよみんな私にかかってらっしゃい How did you get your clothes back? I guess if you can magically remove clothes, magically add clothes. Furiously. <laughs> condition furiously lead the junior students. Okay. The touch. I'm doing the touch thing. It's a little finicky. I love how she has the trench coat just to immediately remove it. Also, I could be wrong, but this one seems a bit easier to get all the trophies in than、uh, Estival. Th these games are usually pretty easy to get the platinum in. I just got. In fact, I just got the platinum for、um, Peach Beak Splash、uh, just a bit after that stream. I just had to do. What did I have to do? I had to get some more soaking wet power ups and I had to do something else that didn't take very long. Coat Coats are very powerful, yes. I find it funny. She's got. <laughs> her robot has like a chainsaw and a flamethrower, and they hurt exactly as much as the coat slap. But, you know, just ninja things. <laughs> God damn it. I <laughs> like that sweat graphic. Real sweat physics. Real 60 FPS sweat physics. Really shouldn't let her around the other students. I'm not entirely sure what the star means. I think that means you beat it in frantic mode. That seems to be what it means. Because I didn't start seeing it until I started playing in frantic. Today. Mariah time. Small titty goth GF. <clears throat> With a single fang, of course. I guess this is everybody's entrance thing. Mariah is actually older than most of the other ones. So I guess we're going back in time. I didn't think I would like Mariah, but she's got a lot more personality than you would assume. She's, she's kind of the one flat character, and it's like. That does result in some of the situations you would exactly expect, but she's got a lot more to it than that. She's like a fan fiction writing nerd, basically. It's pretty good. And she gets in like online blogging battles with people. It's pretty legit. Plus, she's basically the penguin, like I said. It's. The water escape. Grass noises. Y'all want some grass ASMR? Also, if you play the later games, it really is interesting to go back and play this because、um, there's a lot of character growth that happens, especially with the, the main two schools' characters.、They're, they're a little bit more different way back here than they are in the more recent games. Ikaruga's a bit more stuck up back here, and Hamura is very different. 
Haruka is kind of more of a creep. She's still a creep, but she's more of a creep back then. Oh, is Samora? Huh, I guess Samora is more of her senior? I don't remember anyone's school year. She's obviously able to tell it's a tan, just... Just because. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mars basically did the tea. Good on you for not opening up to a stranger, only a dumbass would do that. Just <laughs> this really sexy girl walks in. Calm down, my ride, Jesus Christ. Rude. Rude. <laughs> How dare you! Because Mirai is like the only person in this entire planet <laughs> with smaller than an F cup, I believe. This Kafuru now. Kafuru is a C. She's <laughs> the only average cup size in the whole series. Mirai there's Mirai and there's. Uh, there's Ryobi. Ryobi is, <laughs> Ryobi is half flat, half not. She gets big boobs when she transforms, which... I've seen several people just assume they get big boobs when they transform, and that's not actually how it works. Except for her. It's more of a magical girl kind of thing. Uh, he is, yeah. This is why we don't like it when Haruka talks. Like, ever. You have, like, guns. Just shoot her, honestly. Improve? <laughs> Improve the game, please. どうしようかな。遥香様と呼びなさい。遥香様。そう。私のことは遥香様と呼ぶこと。それで許してあげる。選抜クラスにはあと2人いる。来い。紹介してやる。You <laughs> got to have secret elevators obviously. All the cool ninjas have secret elevators. We're already in a secret castle, but there's the secret elevators within the secret castle. Speaking of elevators, I'm so glad to not have to deal with elevators anymore in the new office. The new office it's all ADA compliant. It's all um it's all one floor. Um, the loading dock is nice and big. <laughs> the old loading dock was so small. It's the size of a frickin' bathroom. Um, we had to cram a bunch of servers in there and load them up. In the middle of the rain. That was, that was fun. It was raining the day we uh, moved all of the servers. So we uh, were very, very careful. All of them came back up. In fact, the only piece of equipment that did not work after we moved it in, we bought a new router board for the new office because we wanted we had to leave we had to leave the internet at the old place. So we left the router board in. Got a new router board for the new office, and the new router board didn't work, so that should have been replaced um, this week. I was off work this week. Was <laughs> sneaking sneaking some food out of Yomi's bowl there. A regal looking girl attempts to stuff bean sprouts in the mouth of a bear midriff girl next door. Yeah. Except everyone has a bear midriff here except for you, actually. Hey, she's got one of those thief bags. She's got it's that pattern from the the thief enemies from um Kirby. That, that's some kind of Japanese trope, right? The the round green bag that thieves have. 
I never got that as a kid. I thought it was like a plasma ball. Um, let me, uh, attack Kirby. Let me show you what I'm talking about so you don't think I'm crazy. This guy. I, I knew nothing of Japanese culture other than what I learned from Samurai Pizza Cats, which of course was highly accurate. But yeah, that's that's exactly that, isn't it? Um, I, I always thought this was like a plasma ball that they had for plasma ball reasons. I don't even I don't even know why. They don't use plasma attacks, so I have no idea why I would think that, but when you're a little kid and there's like weird pixel art sprites, your brain just kind of does what it does. Orb. Yes, orb indeed. No one's game has any concept of boundaries, no. You have to be very personal as a shinobi. It's a blot on my screen here. There we go. <laughs> Every single one of them is stacked. Yes. Everyone in the entire world is except for you. <laughs> Poor Mirai. No time for bullshit, indeed. You must consume the sprout of heaven, or perish. Think about those beans. <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to think like gravel. If you want to be a ninja, you have to think like gravel. <laughs> Damn it, Mirai. You gotta think like gravel, you gotta think like sitting loosely. And if you're in Minecraft, having some flint in you sometimes. I should stream. <laughs> Minecraft again sometimes to see all the bullshit that's changed. I haven't genuinely... I played a little bit since um, the alchemy and crap was added. It's not really... It's got too... It got too much of the crafting aspect for my taste, honestly. Pre pre prepare a <laughs> jiggle like gelatin. I'm sorry, but Mirai's introduction will have a lot of this. <laughs> they trampled their friends up there. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you know what's funny? Um, <laughs> bouncy bounce. <laughs> um, I was just thinking um, while playing this last night in the Hanzo thing. Saruka's <laughs> so scary, even her boobs have fear. Yes. Uh, I was just thinking uh, this game is. In terms of the dialogue and stuff, they're actually usually pretty casual about the whole chest thing. And, like, people will store items in their cleavage and stuff. But it doesn't really have the, like, usual, like, creepy men writing women style of, like... There's this whole subreddit of, like, really poorly written, um, like, female characters and, like... Her breasts rippled like the beach sand in the morning and... And, like, stuff like that. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> Mirai has some confidence issues, so I guess there is a bit of that for her. But, dude, <laughs> dude trust me, it's not usually quite like that. <laughs> but no, there's this whole, I forget what it's called. I think it's just men writing women. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of, there's a subreddit that takes just a bunch of really poorly written, 
Oh yeah, I, I posted about that in the Discord. There's this one where his like her breasts were as passionate and hard as pomegranates, and like her boobs got hard because she was aroused because that's how those work, right? I think maybe he meant the nipples, but like her just breasts got like enlarged, engorged because of I don't know, and uh, something about pomegranates. Jouncy? Is jouncy a word? <laughs> a whole pair of honkazoos. <laughs> she moved breastily down the stairs, yes. Stuff like that. But you'll find no one actually cares except for Haruka and uh, Mirai, and they get less silly about that. I love that we train in this like weird shithole with like shinobi graffiti, which is a genre I'm not particularly familiar with before this game. Screaming. Gotta grin and bear it indeed. She gets very squeak when angry. Very angry, small. Small. Why does Mariah have like five times as much dialogue as everyone else's intro, by the way? I can't believe they skipped out on training because they saw the bear on my panties, yes. An unfortunate reason to skip training. Look at this tree. This is like the god tree. All of the other trees worship this tree. <laughs> How is this helping, Amora? This is important ninja training. Is Hamori gonna show me her crocs now? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I, 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 I think I'll... <laughs> Hikage's there, too. 
Let's go pass. Aww. One of the team. Guess I've got brain problems. Watashiwa not helping. Aw, friends. <laughs> Grateful for my bear panties, yes. You know, you can just buy different ones, but... Fucking short, look at me. How short is Mariah? Let me look this up. Do you not have stats? Come on, Wiki. Oh, there's different timeline things. The game has different, like, timelines. It's weird. I... I... I don't fully understand the timelines. Um, I always think it's a mistake to like fuck up and make multiple timelines and stuff. Oh, she's exactly five feet. Taller than I thought. I guess the other ones are just reasonably sized. Um, but I guess Burst Renewal is considered, at least according to this unofficial wiki, Burst Renewal is considered in the same timeline as Shinobi, Esteval vs. Um, and PBS. That's weird. Because the original game is considered in its own, like, separate thing. And I hope they, like, solve that once and for all with Seneca Gura 7, because, like... The timeline bullshit in, like, Zelda is ridiculous. This isn't quite at that level. There's just two, but it's still... It feels really unnecessary. I was thinking she was like... Four feet or something. But I guess everyone else is just pretty tall. Unless she's shorter in this one, that might be the case. Now it says she's five feet in both of them. Huh. She is like 17 or 18. She's one of the older ones. Which of course always is the gag. I mean, average height is like 5'6". Uh... I'm not sure that's the case for Japanese women. Especially not 16 year olds. This should be moderately short. But they're not as short as the Neptunia characters. The Neptunia characters are like oddly short. In fact, I think Neptune is taller than she's supposed to be in PBS considering that. Because she's as tall as the regular characters. As you might expect for someone with a gun, um, she uses mostly ranged attacks. Or at least her attacks create ranged attacks. So I looked it up and like, Streamlabs OBS is aware of the thing, like, in Streamlabs OBS I can't change my bitrate on the fly, even though regular OBS has that as a feature. And they've got like, a case for that in their like, bug tracker, but... <laughs> it's like one of those things where you gotta vote on new features. And like, all of the highest rated features are like, spam for cryptocurrencies and stuff. 
Like, the, the most highest rated one, which was obviously, you know, spams and, like, brigaded, was we need to be able to pay with Verge cryptocurrency, which is something, like, that they were supposed to make for, like, porn websites were supposed to be able to use it. And that never actually was the case. It's just, like, made up garbage like all cryptocurrencies are. And it has, like, over a thousand votes. Meanwhile, like, real feature requests have, like, four pluses. Oh shit, I didn't even transform, did I? Oh well. Never tried it for Japanese when it was, like, 5-4. Yeah. They're pretty short. So Mariah's about average height for what she should be. They are... <laughs> they are ninjas and stuff. Umbrella. Yeah, like I said, she's um, she's just plain old penguin. <laughs> it makes me wonder if I should try hiding six blades in my skirt too. Yes. <laughs> Not allowed. Yeah, there's special conditions for that. Hey, son. I didn't even see myself getting that top secret file that time. It's going on accident. I guess that happens with the ranged stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was a long segment. I'm so glad the porn bots are dead in the Discord. Now we can actually get welcome messages again. There's <laughs> a lot of unexpected grabbing in this game. <laughs> Mariah, Mariah, that's kind of rude. Why do we have scrolls of us on the wall, by the way? That's kind of weird. You knew this story arc was coming. That's me. I'm already on the wall. They have a scroll of me from before I got here. That's That's weird, man. We're out of sprouts. <laughs> Condition, bounce that chest and do your best. Thanks, game. This is the best victory condition I've ever seen. Do the... Do the... Guys, I'm doing the thing. There we go. Also, bounce what exactly? That's not gonna happen. I thought it was Yomi from that winning condition. No, I shouldn't have done... I wanted to show her transformation, but I can't do that in Frantic, actually. Also, her gun thing doesn't make any sense in Frantic mode, because it's supposed to be hidden under her dress, but there is no dress. Check these things. 
I'll show you a transformation next time it's a thing for her. Just ninja things, yes. Lucky <laughs> item, yeah? I guess I should show off the other info thing. Everyone has three ninja art things. Um, you can't use the last one until you're higher level, though. Oh, that was it. Well, that was easy. Yes, Mara has mastered the crotch gun ability. Eat those sprouts. That that was a f that was the world's fattest white tiger. I just, I don't think those proportions are quite right. I guess it's just a really bad fake one, but that's the world's fattest white tiger ever. <laughs> regular living room white tiger rug. I think when they say regular living room, they're talking about the thing behind Mirai here with the TV. The rest of it is like traditional Japanese castle <laughs> and not very living room at all. It's just some beans. Also, I was wrong last episode. I guess A rank is the best rank you can get in this. Not S. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> when playing a Japanese game, it's impossible to tell what the hell the best rank is. Sometimes it's A, sometimes it's S. Sometimes there's double S. And even triple S, if you're playing Devil May Cry. <laughs> that works, right? You punch your wallet and it gets bigger. You think even evil shinobi would like treat their students a bit better, but I don't know. Maybe they don't have lunch programs in evil shinobi Japan. This is cheap ass bean sprouts too. We sure have a lot of these dummies. We can afford like sentient wooden training dummies, but not food. Yeah, doing anything that Haruka asks you is not particularly wise. Go low with Yomi's big ass sword. It's like fucking Cloud over here. And she has some bombs too, which I kind of forgot about. She feels a lot better since Esteval. She's got a. She feels like slow and like strong, like she should, instead of just <laughs> mostly the same as everyone else, which kind of is what the first couple games felt like. So trick for the slow characters, um, usually they can move almost as fast as the other characters, you just need to use cancels correctly, and um, usually move a bit faster in the air, plus you can run. That was easy, 
I didn't even get to transform again. I guess this is chapter one and everything. <laughs> you think being able to lift a giant ass like 60 pound sword like that, or probably even heavier, <laughs> would like be able to get a job that pays more than like 10 yen a day, but I guess not. Everyone in anime is both incredibly brilliant and like critically incompetent at all times. <laughs> Yomi, Yomi, what are you doing? Yomi, no. This is why you're poor. She's not very good with money. <laughs> yeah. Poor Yomi. She has she has issues with wealth. We'll probably get to that more later. It's in Shinobi versus if nothing else, but I assume that'll get caught gotten to. If I were to describe myself in two words, they'd be cicada husk. Okay. That's... that's... that's a good way. Literally Shedinja. See, that thing over to the left there, I think, is the quote-unquote modern living room thing. And the rest of it, obviously, is not quite that. The ninja room. Oh, speaking of sun, it's been so nice. Our new office has sun everywhere. It's got windows, and <laughs> none of us are in the basement. Like, over half of the old office was in the basement. What? <laughs> She's got finger puppet powers? What is this? like a later year student than everyone else. I guess she's just older. She got held back for small boobs in earlier school, I guess. Stage 
What is, how is this helping? You know, I gotta refill my drink. I'll let you. I'll let you ponder this for a moment. <clears throat> Be right back. weird summer. The temperature is all over the place. Speaking of summer, I think I finally defeated the ants. We had ants, or I had ants, um, first they were getting into the sink, um, and then I washed them down the drain, <laughs> and then, um, then there was some eating Parker's food over on, uh, over towards one side of the kitchen, and I just vacuumed all of them up and all of the stray food and moved all of his food, and I haven't seen them since, so... I think I got him. I don't know exactly where they got in, but there's been lots of work on my house, so I'm not super surprised. <laughs> to be Mirai is to be pain. Poor Mirai. Oh no. Everyone in anime talks in their sleep. I've never, I've never been known to or known anyone personally that that talked in their sleep or sleep. I know sleepwalking is a thing, but. Like a seal, not like a seal, like not the animal. I was like thinking this was like finger puppets. What? Oh, this this again. Peace sign's supposed to be a crab. Crab people. <laughs> the amount of leg sweat going on here. Same. Me, IRL. <laughs> Poor Homura. Crab people. <laughs> Crab. <laughs> she said so softly. Crab people. Crab people. Crab people. Crab people. 
急に日陰の笑顔が見たいという話になってなそれだけああそれだけだI was talking about, about Vulcans, like, Spock has always talked about fascinating. Like, fascination is an emotion, what do you, what do you mean? Plus Spock is half human, I mean, he obviously, he shows emotions at various points in the show, but, um... I think they kind of did eventually kind of go more into detail that, and like, Vulcans really do have emotions, they just like, you know, it's just like a social thing, they're just not supposed to show it. Hikage is a total moon. <laughs> She's a lot of people's favorites, um, Hajibo character, or just favorite in general. This will be good. Trying her best. Your best just isn't very good. So, why are the trash mobs so much short, taller than us? They're all like a bare minimum of six feet. Look at look at that. I think they were like designed to be the same height as we are, but they're usually in like hunched over stances. So they're actually freaking huge. <laughs> Anger is a fine emotion, yes. <laughs> We're gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. What purpose could that pocket possibly serve? Anger is a fine emotion. Her stance is a little less crazed in this one than it is in later games, too. At least the in-game stance is moderately crazed. Check the secret scrolls. Being a traditional Japanese household, they have, you know, fully cooked rice balls just in. Random pottery. I swear these are a lot easier than they were in the Hanzo arc with this one even. I did give everyone a couple levels up at the beginning though. I mean, jelly donuts, obviously, not rice balls. Because what is a rice ball? No one in America has heard of a rice ball. Yeah, these are, these are pretty easy. I have been playing like chapter 3 and 4 over in Hanzo Arc though, so. Plus, I'm like used to the game now again. Or I kind of wasn't when I began the first stream. Cookies on Dowels. Oh, 
場はいつもと変わりありませんがわしの二軒にしわ寄ってるじゃろそれに花もピクピクしとる気がするピクピクいやー怒ったよわし怒ったな<笑> convincing acting Regret is an emotion. The one for sinister pranks. It's kind of neat that we get lore in this one for like the library thing. Let me show you that actually real quick. I don't think anything other games really had that. Oh, I guess their emotions haven't really changed, but when like more dramatic stuff happens, people's expressions and stuff will be different. <laughs> It's so funny they chose an angle where you can clearly see her. Unpatched eye. This is this is me writing a really good tweet. Yeah, there you go. That'll fuck him up. She's just kind of sitting over here. Leg. Um, looking at those sprouts. Um, where's the. Oh, yeah, the library is here. That's her making her cringe compilation of herself. Um, oh, these are the photos I bought. Got it. Visuals, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, the lore is the last one here. The lore. <laughs> Delinquent yo yo abilities. Well, I guess Hejibo and, um, get, and um, Enzo have different scrolls that you get. Secret Ninja Arts. Do they even go to their gold, good, evil? The one like state slash free? Um, yeah, that's kind of the main focus of this game, really. It just takes a bit to get into. That's kind of the part. Well, I'm not quite there yet. That's kind of the crowning arc ish of this game, really. Though evil, <laughs> evil honestly is kind of more fucked up. Are we going to eat Hikage again? Evil is kind of more fucked up than they give it credit for, but... <laughs> We have forums? Hell yeah. I want to go on Shinobi YTMND. Get some ninja memes. Yeah, the reason you won't see that theme as much in the later games with the good versus evil shinobi thing, it's kind of more or less resolved in this one.、Uh, they mention it a little bit. <laughs> they mention it just enough to spoil things、um, in several later games, which is why you probably should, if you're new to the series, I really would get Burst Renewal first. And it pretty completely replaces the first 3DS game, you don't really need to get. Um, Senator Kigura burst after this. Squin these plebs in Call of Duty! That would. Mariah would totally do that, though. 
も結構同じ趣味の人がいるんだえへへ友達になってくれる人がたくさんできるといいな It's a lot different from what most people think of when they first see it. Like, it, it both is and isn't exactly what you think. Like, it does what, you know, it does the obvious big titty shinobi stuff. It does it quite well.、Um, but the. There's a lot of drama and stuff in the writing and stuff. Shinobi versus, in particular, goes into everyone's backstory, like, separately. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, pretty much everyone in here has a fucked up backstory, which you kind of, as, as is usually hammered in by the game's、um, opening stuff, you usually have to be in a pretty shitty place to want to be a shinobi because it's not a very cool life. So, everyone has their reasons, and they're usually gone into either in the game people are introduced. Well, usually that, yeah. <laughs> M9 Woo face. You bunch of spineless weasels! At least use the Navy SEAL copy pasta. I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Bakugaijin. Did you see the pots like spawn in and drop for a brief second there? Oh, here now we get to do the transformation. There it is. Another one? I should really see how many of there are in the level before I play. Oh, there's three. There's only three max, so that should be it. I don't know why they don't use their scrolls in this one. Usually, in the later ones,、uh, when they transform, they always pull out their scroll, which is part of the uniqueness of the animation, but、uh, not in this one. Hey, Capitalus! Oh, yeah, son, good to hear that.、Um, what is that snowflake?、Um, it's half OG, half made. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But she's, she's just basically the penguin. Oh, they all have. I guess they all have hidden on them somewhere the little Hejibo Euroboros thing. I don't think she usually has that on her little sleeve thing. Where is Mission Songs for Rage was had in the OG game? Huh. I, I'm not sure. I don't think I got this far in the main game, or in the old game. Haruka's the only one that's actually like evil. Yeah, Haruka is. pretty rough. Though Humora can be pretty damn cold. The, um. They, they look a lot more evil when you're facing against them with the,、um, the, the Hanzo characters. It's kind of the point of this side of the story is to see things from their perspective, and it's not. They're not half as cold blooded as they seem in the main game, or in the original. It was so hard to come with Mariah, and she had at least HP, so. The internet is a scary place. 
Yeah, I didn't really enjoy playing the first game. There's not too many characters I don't like. I find pretty much everyone plays at least all right. It's funny that she had the least HP. She has pretty high defense, at least in this one. I don't know about her HP, though. Haruka's a total four chainer. Oh, yeah, glad to hear you're working on the, the hit points again. Glad that the... I'm just saving more. I have that problem, too, in, um... In Vegas. If you get this thing where Vegas crashes, usually I find it's editing too many text things in one session. So what I just do is that every time I edit a text thing, I'll save it, and then, like, after, like, ten edits of a text thing, it usually crashes for me. But you can make, like, nine edits and save it, and then either let it crash or close and reopen. You can make nine more, and so on and so on. So you can have, in, you know, you can have as many as you want, it just... It, something just breaks when you just do that a lot in one session. But yeah, I missed the uh, I missed the hit points videos. Those were those were always really fun. I will not be defeated. I will fight for the honor of Bean Sprouts. The second annual Ultimate Eating Championship. I'm not sure if it is a memory, bleh, memory leak. I haven't looked at it, but it's weird, whatever it is. One yen will not buy bean sprouts, however affordable they may be. <laughs> Consider eating wild herbs, those are best left for others. She has... I don't even know how to describe it. She has issues, for sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what that, that, that expression means. Grand prize for this tournament is all the food in the shop's district that has just passed its expiration date. Huzzah. What a luxury that would be. <laughs> I don't think I don't think this competition will be legal in many countries. I'm not sure that's how that works either. Ikaruga! Oh, this is our first time meeting her, I guess. Again, she has some issues here. I'm not sure why Ikaruga would be at an eating contest, though. <laughs> That's the same principle! There's a reason Ikaruga and Yomi usually fight in this game. Ikaruga's 
<laughs> First to flip out. What was this exercise exactly? That does explain it though. It's like freaking Evo for food eating. Is this is this how eating competitions usually work? I've heard of them, but I've never like <laughs> that's really not <laughs> my my chosen entertainment to watch. It's kinda weird, but I know they do like hot dog eating contests. And they like dip them in water to make them easier to eat. There's like advanced next level food strats. Then obviously they'd like probably puke it all up immediately after. Like. Oh no, he's here. Oh, we don't like Murasame. Oh, Yeah, regarding nearly, like, just past expired stuff, it really depends on the food item. Milk is, like, almost always gonna be bad. It depends when it's opened, but milk goes very, very quickly. Some stuff, some stuff just kind of is obligated to have a best buy date, especially pills and stuff. Like, the best buy date very often does not actually matter for pills and stuff. Depends on, again, depends on what it is, but generally, a lot of stuff doesn't matter. As much as it seems like it would. But some stuff really does, a lot of stuff will just lose flavor. It won't, like, genuinely go bad, like, full of, like, mold spores, it just tastes stale. Speaking of, I got some, like, cheap brand vanilla wafers, and they were, <laughs> they were, like, brand new. Like, the, the the Best Buy days, like, 2020, and they were already stale. I'm not getting that crappy brand again. I got that, and I wonder if that's why I didn't... I don't usually like honey, but I got a, hun a, like, a honey bear thing. It's cheaper to buy honey in a bear than it is in a bottle, for some reason, by the way. Cabbage core is a high quality ingredients. Delightful texture, yes. Yeah, get fucked, Marisano. <laughs> Bunny boy! Splendid. Cabbage core is a food fit for a king. Plus an ecstasy. Yes. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Chew your food, kids. They missed out on the chance for ASMR chewing sounds. Yes, good. 
celery core chewing. Yes. Cabbage, whatever it is. Seems cruel. I love this is our this is our first introduction in this side to the Hanzo students. Sumo woman, yes. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. That's not a real thing, right? That can't possibly be a real thing. Oh god. Hornet <laughs> larvae are nutritious, like milk of the forest. Okay. Here <laughs> shrieks of disgust. Drinking water from my hands. Oh. Some sometimes you gotta be glad they go for the VN style instead of showing it. Is this real? I'm gonna Google this. Adults, it tastes like pine seeds. Pickled hornet larva. Marinated wasp larva. Apparently, it is a thing. Delicious. Found some good fucking wasps. Yes. Jeez. I mean, I know of mealworms and stuff. But I guess as long as they don't have the stingers. Kitchen Nightmare Center Giger Edition. Oh, you've got kunai in the fucking oven. What the hell's going on here? There's smoke bombs in the goddamn pots. There's gunpowder in the bleeding salt shakers! <laughs> Sorry, the hornet larva went down the wrong way. <clears throat> Massive earthworms, <laughs> of course! This can't possibly be a legal competition. <clears throat> All the soba noodles in the area have been cleared out for the tournament. <laughs> I 
God damn it, Yomi. Yes, I yo. Mimizde. Mimizde, one kosoba. Somebody. Oh my god, Yomi. Yomi, no. Yomi, please. I'm glad the Cinder Kagura cooking game does not have this. You just make real non creepy food. Even I can't lead. <laughs> I really hope it's not a CG for this. This was the script. Oh no! <laughs> At least they censored it. What? Who is this man? What's? What is this? Same, Mikaruka. Yomi, no. So he said the ship's gone too far. <laughs> The one thing they can't show. <laughs> Oh ho. Was this their excuse for having all of the super fat enemies in the first game? Alright. Fruit and juice. Fresh juice. Apple grape. お嬢様、ご心配なくお食後の運動ですか I live for fake brands and video games, like... Oh, let's see if... What was it? Fancy store... Soda juice or something? Let's see if we can find that. Brand Shop Ocean. I think it's down further that way. Shoes and casual. Flower gift. Can't read that one. Jeans friend! Oh my god, I want to go to Jeans friend. That's where I get all my jeans and all my friends. What's this? Nothing. Japanese. Ice cream! 100% off ice cream! Wait, is that 10%? Oh, that's 10%. That's... Okay, that's a bit more reasonable. Sweets shop pie -ho. Order made clock and glasses. I thought that was a different word. Wine. It's, it's simple and to the point. World travel. Excuse- I'm trying to read stuff! Brand shop ocean again. I'm gonna shop at Jeans Friend. Jeans Friend is the ultimate in jeans. 
<laughs> her her air dash is just like a hip swing. She can buy bombs for some reason, but not food. Food. 30 yen. Smoke bombs. 500,000 yen. Gunpowder. 300,000 yen. Someone please help me balance this budget. My children are starving. Why are we so unable to tell that we are a shinobi? Especially after this. Buy fewer bombs. Never! Who <laughs> would be the drill? Probably Mirai. <laughs> she didn't get enough of those worm, that nice worm protein. <laughs> that's, that's very rude, Ikaruga. She can only eat those bean sprouts. Just think about those bean sprouts. <laughs> that is the only valid expression. Oh, you have to unlock being able to block and parry. That, that would explain why sometimes it doesn't seem to work. Why is the sky always red here? They were really proud of this lighting effect. So they just kind of used it anytime this castle was in use. I she was always next to a wildfire at dusk, yes. Keep posting, it just makes my opinions worse. She would totally be the drill. Oh, so you persecute Henzo just because you disagree with his personal beliefs? Do tell. Shinobi get mad at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to remove it. A wise man bowed his head and said, There's actually zero difference between good and bad, Shinobi. You imbecile. You fucking moron. I just realized, of all of the shinobi, it, she's the one that uses guns and she's the one with limited depth perception. It is false though that you, the, the kind of like trope that, oh you don't have any 
depth perception if you only have one eye. That's not the case. There's um, both um, monocular and uh, binocular depth cues. Things like size, obviously, and like differing, you know, movement speeds at different, you know, things. I can't think of how it's described exactly, but... Also, my mission is to cheer up Mirai, so I'm fighting her. I, I guess that's how Shinobi worked. Oh, oh frick! Okay, I have no HP to do that with Frantic with. Okay, we'll do we'll do normal mode then. You, you kind of need that extra HP to do frantic mode. Plus, if you level up frantic enough, you get a you get a thing where as long as you have twenty percent or more of your HP, you survive with one percent left. Hey, Perry. Yeah, Mariah is the penguin. Also, whoever designed the first batch of girls really likes those, like, those, like, um, ankle sock things, whatever those are called. Homura has them, and transformed versions of a couple other characters have them as well. They're pretty common. Katsuragi has them, and somebody else, I just noticed. They're fairly common. Excuse me, sir. Excuse Excuse. I don't know how she does that. I, I think that's a real move in her arsenal, but I can't figure out how to do it. I might just not have her high enough level. <laughs> Calm down, Mirai. Yeah, leg warmers or whatever. Yeah, fighting kind of sucks slightly very early on because you're missing a lot of your combos and stuff. It's just what it's like to have RPG elements in your thing. How did that umbrella happen, by the way? She threw it aside to the left and it comes down from the top. I guess ninja magic, obviously. Spicy hands. <laughs> Her more is like the least interesting transformation. As far as I can tell, it's the exact same outfit, actually. There's some other ones that are slightly boring, like... Katsu mostly just gets more colors, and her top comes open. And then Asuka basically gets a vest. But... Kimura's is probably the most boring. Mission, mission, cheer up, Mariah. Success? Question mark. I'm not sure how that was supposed to help. <laughs> Maybe she gets those little shoulder, those like gauntlet things. I guess that's the only difference. Yeah, 
Beatings will continue until morale improves, which is kind of. At certain aspects, you see that as basically the concept of some of the evil shinobi stuff. I gotta appreciate though in games when the um, the mission objective, so to speak, is you know something story relevant instead of just win the battle. Yoshi. <laughs> she, she's legally unable to start a sentence without saying Ara. <laughs> Slow your roll, bro. Please don't be a school shooter, Mariah. Responsible adult in the room. Don't say it like that, Haruka. デクニンギョが Overcome the trauma. Okay. We're on the roof just for sheer drama. These puppets don't look like my bullies at all. You lied, Haruka. You freaking suck. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. No, that's a temporary grand. Oh, sounds like a Sonic track. Also, it took me too long to realize when it says 10 upgrade, that means I'm level 10, I believe. Like, it doesn't mean I have like 10 upgrade points, which aren't really a thing. It just means I'm level 10. Which. I got to level 10 really quickly in this. Oh, I was probably supposed to go the other way to get the, uh... Players. There was definitely a secret scroll towards the other way. That's just how video games works. What do these points do that I keep saving up? I don't know what you're referring to. 
Oh, some Pokemon ROM hack? Yeah, I don't. Pokemon takes long enough, I don't usually play ROM hacks. <laughs> Just a sword over by the wall. <laughs> She's got a little frilly thing for her tail.未来確かに悪人は復讐のために力を使うことができるでもなんだか未来 I guess I wouldn't necessarily remind, mind doing shoutouts that way, as opposed to like... It doesn't really happen here on Twitch, but on YouTube, like, every time I start a stream, there will be some rando that has never watched any of my videos, and never does end up going to watch them. And they beg for a shoutout, and then they leave within like, one minute. It's weird. いつでも私の人形が相手になってあげるから。はい。わかりました。うん。よかった。はるかさまの言葉。温かかったです。です。はるかさまって普通に優しい時もあるんですね。何言ってんのよ。私はいつも優しいわよ。なあ。なあ、なあ、なあ。今だって未来が言うこと聞かなかったら、面倒くさいから人形にしちゃおうって思ってたぐらいなんだから。We <笑> Yeah, and level 11, jeez. I guess there's a lot more beat up lots of small enemies missions in in this. For some reason, getting beating up lots of small enemies gives so much more experience than beating up the bosses, even though it's way easier. My gamer table. Demo Homura-chan, You must wear the traditional gamer yukata of my people, the gamers. The annual team building trip. I've never build, been on a team building exercise personally. <laughs> that startled noise is okay. Two hundred thousand yen. Meanwhile, Yomi is eating thirty yen bean sprouts. Was this in the original game, or is this an excuse to use the hot spring set that, um, or level that they made for Estival Versus? Because I've noticed they've, they've gotten good use out of a lot of the environments that were already made for this game engine. Got a lot of balls coming in here. ボールは相手コートに打つんだ。相手のコートに打たなあかん理由がわからん。いいか、日陰。そもそもスポーツというものは。スポーツ。The 
他のみんなは卓球を続けろ時間がもったいないぞはいはい分かったわどうだ面白かっただろうでも私そろそろお腹が空いてヨミそう言うと思ったぞそういうのを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけたら、それを見つけ Moderately expensive. Mi Mina san, Tabekiri and I know that no cost them all in this year. Um, if I forgot lunch, which was pretty often, I would usually just get Subway, a lot of food for low money, but nothing quite that cheap. I mean, there's a McDonald's, I think, near, near my new work, but I don't usually get that. Sa, Mina Tabetikre. Well, I haven't so far. It's not like I've been there. I've been there for one full week and a couple extra days because I went. I moved my stuff over a couple days early. Running into them. It's, it is neat that they show both sides of the good and evil shinobi thing, though I will say the.、Um, it's a little contrived how like, friendly everyone is in this compared to. When you see the evil shinobi in the Hanzo arc, they're pretty totally different. Even, well, spoilers, but even when somebody goes over to that side for a bit, they're much crueler than this. Yosh! It does make me kind of wonder if it was really intended for them to, like, make good with the evil shinobi, or if that was kind of, like, added after or something, because, like, it's very, very different. But that could just be on purpose, of course, too.、So. Delightful scent of sulfur. I'd look at this particular kind of events. I mean, you do only see the,、um, especially early on, you only see the、uh, Hejibo girls in very intense, you know, stuff. You gotta have a hot spring scene, of course. Spicy water. Mina, Kyotsk at the Hideo. Nani go? Swimming and riding like a snake. Ats, Ats, Katara, don't I stun? Not sure that's a traditional way to use a hot spring. It's not an anime game until you have one of these. <laughs> Grunt. I guess it's a particular kind of event. It's kind of like a core gives us interpretation of the nefarious fight in RNC3. Yeah. I always find it funny. 
Hamura's tan lines are like from like a binder type thing, but she's never actually wearing something like that. But I guess that's kind of how all these always go, because if they wore the same thing that they got a tan in, you just wouldn't see the tan lines, so. Could also be to do the fact that Sarah burst. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying. It was, um, burst, like, the Hedgebo arc genuinely came later, so I don't know if it really was, like, if it was changed after. Or if they had that in mind the whole time. Because I never did play the original. I mean, the original never came out in English, so... Also, also, we keep bumping into the good shinobi, which was never the case in the in the Hejibo arc. None of this actually happened. Or, I mean, it's never shown, anyway. <laughs> Katsu gives zero fucks. Just an absolute... An absolute lack of fucks. Oh, look at Igaruga's face. Should, should we not have recognized the, the people that we keep running into? Like after they tried to kill us in the Hanzo arc? I think the hot spring scene happens on the Hanzo side as well. If it does, it happens way later, because I'm in like chapter 4 and I haven't seen this. What is... I never got this. Uh, as far as I'm aware... Um, as far as I'm aware, Huruma has the exact same cup size as Asuka. Uh, at the very least, she has like... It's like one cup size different, but... She calls her jugs for some reason. Everyone is not the same cup size in this, by the way, but... <laughs> <laughs> They're big enough, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between most of them. Maybe the bikini models are different. Jug says he did just this. It's kind of weird when they do draw attention to cup size because, like, every it's usually just not even recognized as being a thing. Like, it's just totally normal that everyone's like J or above, or G rather. It's like a jumping out of 3D movie. I'm almost certain Haruka is supposed to be bigger than Asuka. I think Asuka is like on the small end of things. But they just wanted an excuse to talk about it. No. Go away. Why? Is... Oh my god. I I knew it. God damn it, Hanzo. Get out of here, pedo. We don't like Hanzo. <laughs> Which is funny, because isn't... I know at least three different games that have Hanzos. Is that actually a common Japanese name? Because the, 
There's that one dude. There's o Mr. Overwatch Man. There's this, obviously. I could swear there was some other situation. There was other some other game with his Hanzo as a family name. Is it like a common shinobi? Is it like a shinobi thing or something? ちっちゃん、いい加減にしないとばっちゃんに言いつけるよ。もう、それはいかん。アスカ、それはいかんぞ。アスカ、お前、忍び学生だな。半蔵学院のものか。<laughs> this is of course how all battles begin. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Just forget about it. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> Only when orders say we have to. I mean, the thing about Evil Shinobi is that they really don't have any binding moral code or anything. They just... They get paid to do stuff, so they do it, so... Good Shinobi might kind of... <laughs> Good Shinobi kind of do have a reason to kick the ass of Evil Shinobi, but... Evil Shinobi just kind of do it because they're, if they're supposed to. If they're paid to or stuff. That's why they're more the mercenary slash... Kind of the more capitalist side, and then there's the the more statist side of the good shinobi. <laughs> Which, neither of them sound very good in that light, but... Yeah. Yeah, the evil shinobi are a lot more traditional, they're a lot more kind of what they really were. Cosmic Emerald hat. By the way, it's weird. For some reason, on PS4, if you want to use wired controller, you gotta use the, the newer controller with the light bar on the front. Um, which is weird because on PC, you can use the regular kind wired. I don't know exactly what's different internally. But I got, for some reason, my bedroom, which is only like a room and a half away from my living room, gets terrible Bluetooth reception. Um, it mostly only affects the PS3. Um, my Xbone controller and my Wii U one usually work. I occasionally get some drops, but it's mostly the PS4 controller, but I, I just ran a wire through to just use it wired. That's what I do with my PC stuff anyway, so I already have the wire there actually. Just had to move it. I don't know why. I guess my, I have an old house, so the walls are pretty thick. But I don't know what would cause so much trouble.
Real bloodshed, miss? Yeah, Yomi. Yomi has some issues. Almost as many as, as Haruka, honestly. Just different issues. I guess we all have our own issues. You usually don't become an evil shinobi without issues. Or a good shinobi, for that matter. Family shit is usually the only <laughs> non awful reason to become a shinobi. Poor Ikaruga isn't even really rich though. She comes from a rich family, but like, well, you see more of that on the Hanzo side. You don't want the Pokenav calls? You don't want to hear about how shorts are comfy and easy to wear? But yeah, that was such a weird, half-assed way of handling things in the early Pokemon games. Like, all people really wanted to do was just fight the old trainers again. But you had to, like, wander around for, like, ten hours for, like, a repeat of, like, a character that you met <laughs> at the very beginning of the game. And they give you, like, 50 Poke Dollars. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> Is there even a way to refight in Sun and Moon? I usually just, I mean, there's like built-in battle square thingers that you can do. But you could just, um, usually you just go fight the Elite Four again. We got some Yuminiki. Yeah, we're kind of at the docks in Yuminiki, aren't we? What's up, Yagyu? Oh, you're gonna get your ass kicked now, boy. <laughs> I love how subtle she is with shuriken for hair things. No one would ever suspect. No one will ever know! <laughs> We're just gonna fight. Was there some media calm? Uh, I've dropped 1% of frames. It might have been a bit of media comm. It seems stable now, though. <laughs> Condition, take a break. This, I don't think this qualifies as taking a break. Yeah, that was probably some media comm. I can't... Unfortunately, I can't change my bitrate while live with Streamlabs OBS, but that looks fine for now. Oh shit. Can I get her? There we go! That's fairly hard to do. One in 200 shiny chance? That's a lot better. Oh, that's only for specific characters. Oh. おかげでいい汗かかけた。さあ、一緒に温泉でもどうだ。遠慮しておこう。ひばりは寝相が悪いので、今頃はお腹を出して寝ているだろうからな。俺がお布団をかけてあげなくてはならないのだ。そう、そ
生は控えめに頼むぞ、うん、さらばだあ,あ,あそうだ一つ言い忘れたパセビっしょりで寝ることになると思うがまあ自業自得だなまそそんなバカな Yeah, the star must be for frantic. I don't think it really means much of anything. But I guess it just proves you can beat it in frantic. They do kind of a better job of、um, sort of animating some of these scenes. Usually in Estival versus and stuff, that was just like one character on one side of the screen and one on the other. I still don't have full lip sync and everything, but it's only so much you can do with your budget. She's got the most perfect cowlick. なんで並んでまでラーメンを食べるのか分からん。If we had ramen somewhere around here, that'd be good enough. People line up for it. <laughs> There she goes. There she goes. Huh? Why do you eat a lot <laughs> Ramen is the dream. ロマンなんだよ。ロマンそう、ロマン。丼一杯の中に夢がいっぱい詰まってるんだ。こってりの豚骨スープに固めの細麺、炙りチャーシューと半熟卵。もう考えただけでも頭がクラクラして鼻血
Yeah, I'd say Hikage is my favorite from the Hejibo at least. I like a few from Hanzo a bit better. And most of my favorites aren't even in this one. Well, I mean, you can buy them character packs, but there's no there's no story for them, so I'm not sure I'll bother for that because I already got I already have Estival versus to play them with. I swear, Hejibo's stuff is easier than Hanzo's is. And they're supposed to be the one you, that you play second. It's supposed to be the more difficult second perspective thing that you play afterwards. Okay, Goku. そうなん。あたいは強くなってはならない。強くなるためには強いやつと戦い続けなきゃいけないんだ。日陰。あたいは今ここでお前と。It still looks like we're kind of having some issues. I'll probably end the stream around here. Just because we're getting media com grief. Yeah, Katsu is just getting very Goku on us. Yeah, we seem to be getting... Where's that image? Seem to be getting a little of this going on. Speaking of uh, Goku, um, Hibari's art is very... <laughs> she's got Goku's cloud, basically. Ah, oh, Frig! I, I brought down the stream for like 20 seconds and Twitch already considers it a separate stream. That, Twitch is so stupid about that. Give me like five minutes of like technical issues buffer. Ramen comes first. Whatever. Oh, come on. Don't do me like that. Alright, um, let me show you the Savari thing I'm talking about. We'll probably wrap it up for there. Um, we haven't gotten to the dramatic part yet. By by now, it's kind of funny how non-dramatic. We're the evil shinobi, and this is very happy-go-lucky stuff all the way through the first couple chapters. Um, I'm pretty sure by this time in the last in the Hanzo thing, we were getting very dramatic already. Um, how do I... Alright, here we go. Hibari has the little... the gold cloud thing from Dragon Ball. And there's some kind of symbol on Ninto's head. I don't know what that is. Yeah, this was fun. Um, stupid media comp. So I think Medicom must have messed it up. It might be all right now, ish. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop for the night. Um, it's been fun, fun to stream some Tenor and Kagura again. I might stream some Peach Ball this week because that should be coming out. 
I'll hopefully get a copy of that soon. Um, let me just put this back up. Oh yeah, I keep meaning to, um, don't need that. Um, I keep meaning to kind of put this up as like the ending of the streams to kind of be like, thank my, my Patreon supporters here. You know, show all the links and stuff. I just, I'm never used to like doing that, but, uh, thanks for watching everybody. See y'all later. Hop in the Discord if you haven't. Peach Ball is another spinoff. Yeah, it's a pinball game for, uh, Switch. Kind of weird. Switch has been getting the new spinoffs, which isn't too much of a surprise. Um, Kenichiro, or Kenichiro, the, the creator, the producer of the series, really likes new tech. That was actually the reason, um, the reason he said he made, um, Sarukugura for 3DS is because he wanted to see boobs in 3D. What a, what a beautiful man that he is. What a beautiful, honest man. <laughs> that's, so he's always had a thing for new tech, so that's why there's a VR, he made a VR mode, um, so... Switch has the kind of 3D-ish movie thingies on the controllers and the HD rumble stuff, so he wanted to make stuff with that, I'm sure. So that's probably why there's spin-offs on there. The mainline games were on PS4, and then Sony... At least it sounds like either Marvelous or Sony, I'm not sure which one is more responsible. It sounds like it's more Marvelous's fault, actually. But they had to do some pretty major changes in Sanger Kagura 7, and I don't know exactly what's going on there. But hopefully that all turns out well. At least since Sony's been acting lately, they'll be shocked. The main games are driven to Switch. Yeah, that's the thing I don't get. Uh, if it were Sony's fault, they could put on PC and Switch. So I'm not really sure it is necessarily Sony's fault. It does seem like it probably is partly or mostly Marvelous. Marvelous would have a lot more control than Sony does. Because, like, worst case, they had to remove, like, the dressing room intimacy feature, which is not a big deal. Um, they brag about having it on the Switch versions um, just because of that, but like, they might have to edit some CGs or like more aggressively censor the, you know, stripped state or something. But to have to totally remake the game or whatever is going on, that seems more like it must be something that Marvelous is doing, but I don't know. It's so weird because like that's... <laughs> This has gotten to be a pretty big series, I mean, considering the budget and everything. It's gotten pretty popular, and I don't I don't know why they would choose to fuck it up, but big companies are weird and stupid, so whatever. Good night, everybody. Tap Tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon, and any relevant links to the game.